we're going to try and experiment as a scientific community. I'll explain in about 90 seconds. But first, Lil Bub. You might know Lil Bub as one of the internet's favorite cats. A permakitten with a form of feline dwarfism, her tiny stature and adorable protruding tongue made her truly loved by all. While she sadly passed away in 2019, she first made some important contributions to the scientific world by having her genome sequenced. In addition to her small stature, which resulted in restricted mobility, she also had polydactyly, with additional digits on her paws. She also had a very rare case of feline osteopetrosis, which made her bones dense and prone to fractures. So scientists wondered, were her conditions caused by just one mutation in her genome? Or was it possible that Bub was affected by multiple mutations that resulted in multiple conditions? In order to find out, they sequenced and analyzed her genome, and they found two mutations that they linked to her conditions. One related to a gene called Sonic Hedgehog, yes, really, uh, that they believe to be the cause of her polydactyly, and one in a gene linked with bone cell production that they believe is causing her osteopetrosis. This means that Lil Bub had two unrelated rare conditions. Knowing the underlying genetic cause of a disease can help scientists and doctors find treatments for it. In patients with rare disease, these mutations can be hard to find for reasons that range from the scientific difficulty of finding things when sample sizes are small to the real world problems of often not having much funding for rare disease. Lil Bub's genome was sequenced with money raised from crowdfunding, and part of the goal of the project was not just to find her mutations, but also to use it as a science communication project to talk about rare disease and genome sequencing. And I wanna talk so much more about this story, but I wanna do it with you, not at you. So we're trying a new thing. This is the first of two videos. Here, I've summarized a recent genetics news story, and I want to know what your questions are about it. What didn't you get, or what do you want to learn more about, or where do you want to go with this? You can leave your questions in the comments down below, and then this Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, I'm gonna come back and do a live stream so that we can dive deeper and answer those questions and actually have a discussion about it with anyone who's interested and available. I think that this two-part news story experiment could help to tackle two things that I've been really grappling lately. The first is that there's a lot of genetics news out there, and I wanna talk about all of it but I just don't have the resources right now to make a full video for each one where I'm interviewing the scientists involved and actually traveling to the scene of the science, but I still think that they're cool and I wanna talk about them. And second, the most fun that I have is talking with people about science, not just at you. So the first summary video on the Tuesday, which is this one, puts us all on the same page scientifically so that we can then talk about it on Friday. I've also added links below to more resources if you're interested in reading them, but if this is anything like a true science journal club, you won't. Uh, and that is totally okay. So what do you want to know more about? I think that this story is a perfect jumping off point for a ton of different topics in genetics. We can talk about how these kinds of genetic studies are actually done and what you find when you do these studies. We can talk about what it means to actually sequence a genome or the specific mutations that they found in Lil Bub. We can talk about how all of this relates back to human disease and patients. We can talk about different kinds of mutations. We can talk about how knowing a mutation can actually help us treat a patient. I think there's just a lot of different angles and I wanna know what you wanna know. Go forth, do science, and I'll see you on Friday. I think that this could be really fun.